me see tell your side in the sense of if you all right cool so have you, you've been in a position where you've gone to link a man you feel me and have you already told him what's what's going to happen or is it one of them ones there where you've gone to see him and you're kind of like all right cool i like this brother let's see where it goes type of thing like you tell tell, tell me your side of the story how to know they want it so how first of all you know they're talking period they're talking stage like make it clear make it clear that you know, i this is going to happen you know and especially when you get to know someone you kind of like tease them especially when you like them and you're attracted to them you tend to tease them so obviously i don't think like you're going to tease a man on the phone and then that's it but that, that but sense. does that does that give the person still does that give the person the right to start touching you up when you go no. see him but I'm just already giving you like this a heads up like this is going to happen. Then obviously when we see each other and then I'm like in the vibe, if I see you and then the vibe does not work, then I'm going to say, oh, I changed my mind. Obviously at the beginning with the guy. You're but are you actually going to sit there? Him. What, you're going to sit there and say to him, you're telling me you're going to sit there and say to him, actually, I've changed my mind. I don't want to fuck you no more. You're not though, innit? Yeah. You're not going to do that. You're not, you're not going to do that. Look at it this way. This guy hasn't even touched you yet. You've just walked in. You can tell the vibe's obviously not 10-10. Cool, fair enough. But you're not going to sit there and be like, mm, actually, do you know what? You know how I was teasing you for the phone and telling you these are the things that I'm going to do to you? I've changed my mind. It's not happening no more. It's not that if I get into the room, I'm like, you don't want to have sex anymore. Like, oh, I don't want to have sex. Depends on the com- on the conversation. So if we we going on a date and then we end up in his house, I'm like, yo, like I'm not feeling it. Especially when he's touching me, and he's like, I'm not feeling it. I'm sorry. But then sometimes guys do mistake. Oh, actually, she's not feeling it. To like, oh, the way she was moving to me, the way she was talking to me, I thought she wanted it. But we need to remember that sometimes we can change our mind. <laughs> No, 100%. I'm, I'm, okay, let me tell you something. I'm that type of person. I'm that type of person. Yeah, I like to I like to prepare my meal. You understand where I'm coming from? So, uh, to me, I'd rather just vibe with you. And then when it comes to it, you know the chemistry. Like, I feel like, for example, I've been quite fortunate. I'll be honest with you. I've never really had to do the first move. Do you get where I'm coming from? It's always been kind of like insinuated. So, for example, we could be having a chit-chat, having a nice drink, talking about whatever. But then, you know, your hands are... Your hands are moving kind of, you get me? So I'm like, she used to always say, oh, bro, like, if you know it's just going to be a beat, why is she coming over? Why are you ordering food rare, rare? Because to me, it's like, yo, I'm not just, to me, it's boring. Like, you're just coming through the door and then bang, bang, bang. And then what? Do you get where I'm coming from? I like to yeah. vibe. You feel me? So to me, I'll, I'll, you know, we'll, we'll talk about things. Not really watch a movie because more time, I, I just find that cliche. I'd rather just play something in the background or play some music. You feel me? But. You get you you get to a point where this girl's like, listen, listen, <laughs> the adrenaline is busy. I waited. So more time, listen. When a girl when a girl wants you, trust me, she will give you all the signs that you need, all the signs that you need that makes it so obvious. At this point, obviously. So what are the signs? What are the signs? To me, I, I can only speak. I, to know what we do, I can only like, speak from yeah, experience. You know that we want it. I can only speak from experience when I say yeah. I get the whole touchy touchy. You get me? Like I get the whole five touch thing and then slowly making their way up and then at that point I'm like, okay. Or you know, little things oh. little things like them holding your little pinky and they're just stroking your pinky and you're like, my, Yeah. My so yeah, uh, yeah, to me it's a thing where yeah, she's gotta do the whole touchy touchy thing, you feel me? That's when I know, alright, cool. She wants me to now you know, proceed. At this point, you know, it gets to the point where women will say, you're the man, take the lead. You get where I'm coming from? I've now given you enough hints. You feel me? Now, to me, consent's a funny thing, Carl. I've experienced women as well that it's almost like when you do touch them and they're like, oh, nah, nah, nah. Nah, I don't want it. You get it? Like, they like to do the teasing thing. You feel me? So, more time, so I'm that type of person where, listen, act, I've had... Let me tell you something, Michael Modern's had enough wahala. The last thing you're gonna pick point on me is that mm, sexual abuse and everything there. It's me, and the girl goes out on the internet and says Modern was touching me in ways that he shouldn't have. Yeah, it's not happening. So to me, it's a thing where I just, if I she just says no. I don't know why girls do that. No, then obviously it gets the kitty I wet. Mean, I get it, I get it. Like it, it makes sex even better when it's like, ah, oh, 
oh no we shouldn't be doing this you know this is naughty type of thing you feel me but at the same time it's like to me it's, it's a thing where nah man like if you say no I'm gonna back off but then I've been in time I've been, I've been in situations where the girl's like why are you backing off for like come on you're supposed to fight for this pussy type of thing and I'm like listen I ain't doing no fight I ain't fighting with you I ain't fighting with the next girl I ain't fighting with nobody on the whole floor. you get me like it's either you want it or you don't it's that simple Trust me. You know, some guys actually, when the, a girl say no, they actually force her because I'm like, you, you just turned me on, and then right now you're telling me, you know, what the hell, what are you doing? Like, they actually beg you for it. That's what we girls experience. I bet, like, have you girls ever experienced that? Like, drop that in comment. Drop a comment down below if you ever experienced uh, a guy actually forcing you. And yeah, we get that. When you girl, say forcing, like, what's forcing like, though? Like, they actually like kind of like get you in the desperate mood when I'm like, yo, I don't want it. I, I, I mm-hmm. understand that maybe I turned you on and everything, but right now I'm saying no, I changed my mind. But do you, do you, okay, quick question. Do you think it's fair? Do you think it's fair to tease someone to the point where they've reached maximum horniness? They're on bang, 100%. And just to turn around and be like, nah. It's not, not fair, but. You have the right to do that, yeah. Yeah. Right, I don't know why to do that. This is my body. Uh, this is my body, and I have all the right to do whatever I want with my body. And what? Someone asked, "Why are you turning them on then?" And I think that's I think that's the problem nowadays. I think a lot of times girls love the whole teasing thing. You get me? And they need to understand. Listen, I've been in positions where, and I'll, I'll put my hand up. I've been in positions where girls tease me to the point where. I, I, like I'm just ready to explode. Like my downstairs is ready to just go kaboom. To get where I'm coming from. So you've now literally, literally got me to that point where I'm gonna just mm, on you, and then you're like, nah, it's not gonna happen, and just actually turns the back on me and falls asleep. You gotta understand. You gotta understand at that point. You're like, yo, like you really didn't have to tease me, you know? Like you really didn't have to put me in this position because you gotta understand when you're in that when you're in that bed and you got the blue balls. I can't. Like I speak for most men out here. We won't be able to sleep that night. Like something needs to happen. Me, I'll just end up rolling. I'll just end up rolling the slip. I don't know. I don't know about girls, but if I do that, sometimes I'm like, if I do it, is he gonna think I'm too easy or because I like it too much? So if I give it to him, that's gonna be so easy. So no, one second, step. just have a break. Bye. No, leave. That's what it goes on in my head. But the guy thinking about this. Uh, the guys think about the sex. I'm thinking about what's gonna happen after the sex. Oh, what do you mean? What's gonna happen? We're gonna fall asleep and then cuddle. You get. <laughs> no, like, you girls, listen. Like, let me tell you something, yeah. Like, you don't need to stop worrying sex. about what happens after like, sex. Let me tell you what happens after sex. You come. That's what happens after sex. You come, I come, and everybody goes home happy. That's what really should be the end goal from having sex. I don't understand why people think too deep into it. Like, oh, I just had sex. Now I got to get married. Yo, relax. <laughs> you get where I'm coming from. I could understand. Listen, I, I could understand if, if you didn't. What if I want to get married to the person that I'm having sex with? Oh, what, what because if you want to get married? Because if you say enjoy the moment, then if this guy beat you, are you gonna enjoy the moment with the next one? And then the body can go up and yeah, be. Uh, uh. Listen, listen. Hey. Don't don't be fooled by lust, you know, Kai. You know, a lot of you girls are dignitized. That's the problem. A lot of you girls are dignitized. You get that one good dick and it's like, I need to marry this dick. No, listen. On the real nigga shit, yeah? Enjoy your moment, true. Enjoy your moment, women. Women love sex more than men. That's what people don't understand. Like, you guys are in a position where you enjoy it a lot more than we do. I actually, we, co- we can come up to 10 times. Th- you see what? Listen, I've experienced that shit. Uh, 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 listen, guys, that shit is scary. You know what I mean? But my point is, you guys enjoy it more than us. You guys need it more than us. You see where I'm coming from? So more time, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, why is a girl come and is complaining at the fact that I made her come? This should be your mission when you come to me and you want to be right. You get what? Everybody go. But then the problem is, obviously, you guys are very emotional. I get that. And a lot of times, oh, I would say a lot of girls kind of a tabex and that's where I feel like they go wrong and it's oh like I can't just sleep mm. with anyone like I got oh, listen so, but if, listen like, what if girl. I like you like what if I actually genuinely like you it's not just sex because I'm not 
Could you just say that we get attached emotionally with sex, but what if actually yeah. you like it? Because as yeah, I bet girls won't have sex with guys just for the sex, like just to have sex. We are mm. not like you guys that you guys want to just bust it open by. See you next time. We catch feelings most of the time. Yeah. Why are you catching feelings? Sir? Obviously, if I if you I catch, catch feelings, feelings, I will be my feelings. <laughs> Why? Just come and enjoy. Just come and enjoy.